Zazzy on YouTube had questions about how a landlord needs to comply with the CARES Act, what type of notice needs to be served, and um, if the CARES Act provision for the 30-day notice requirement is going to sunset. Hi, my name is Rob Wells. I'm the Landlord Warrior on TikTok and YouTube. Please feel free to like, share, and subscribe to our videos. Now, Zazzy, to answer your question, um, the type of notice that we were using um, to, to, to comply with the CARES Act was... Um, it's you serve one notice it's basically it basically was a three-day notice to pay rent or vacate the unit within 30 days that's what my office was using um prior to this month um and i'll explain a little bit why that the the cares act from just a plain reading and my reading of it it just requires that you give the tenant 30 calendar days to vacate if they don't pay their rent or def or, or they don't pay some type of non rent monetary charge. Like let's say, you know, they're supposed to pay a fixed utility fee of a hundred dollars for water. Okay. That's when the CARES Act would apply. Now, um, we just got, um, I just got word. I'm a member of the California Apartment Association and they published uh, a bulletin to landlords that they were going to change the way their notices basically. They were going to give tenants 30 days to pay their rent or vacate. And that was because there was some case out of Washington state where the judge in that particular eviction case interpreted that the CARES Act gave tenants 30 days to pay rent don't know how they got to that a uh, conclusion um but because washington state is inside the ninth circuit um court of appeals and i guess it was um well it was a state court case i i think so if it ever if there was ever litigation on the 30-day notice requirement it probably would have to be dealt with in federal court um because of that i guess the policy heads at California Apartment Association believed, hey, you know what, let's just err on the side of caution. And I agree with that, you know, because it's just, you know, you're going to have to wait 30 days anyway. So um, I'm probably going to be moving to a 30 day notice to pay rent or quit just because, you know, you have to wait 30 days before you file an eviction anyway. And the reality of it is my landlords would probably take partial payments. So um there's one answer to your question. I'll do another answer to your other question about um, when the CARES Act is going to sunset. If you have questions, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. I hope this video is helpful. And until next time, we'll talk to you then. Thanks.